Good afternoon, I'm Riza Diaz. This is One News Now. A repatriated OFW tested positive for COVID-19 after arriving in her hometown in Davao del Norte on Friday. To give us more details on this, we have with us Jem Avancena reporting live from the municipality of Santo Tomas. Jem? Riza Santa Tomas Davao del Norte recorded its very first COVID-19 case yesterday after they received the confirmatory test of the 35-year-old female patient who is one of the repatriated OFWs. The patient arrived in Davao City via a Mercy Sweeper flight last May 27 and was immediately placed in quarantine upon arrival in Santo Tomas. The municipality is also waiting for the confirmatory test result of five locally stranded individuals who tested positive in a rapid diagnostic test conducted by their health office. The five patients were passengers of a May 29 Manila to Davao sweeper flight. In a statement, Santo Tomas officials say they are now conducting contact tracing. They are also reminding the public to follow health protocols, practice proper hygiene, and to avoid going outside their residences. Tagum City also recorded one new case after a locally stranded individual who arrived last May 26 tested positive for COVID-19. Meanwhile, in Davao Oriental, Provincial Task Force on COVID-19 announced that the eight OFWs who previously tested positive for the coronavirus disease have now recovered. They were already discharged but are required to undergo 14-day home quarantine. In Davao del Sur, eight new recoveries were recently recorded. Among them are health workers in the provincial hospital. Recall that the public hospital was temporarily closed last Saturday after eight of their staff tested positive of COVID-19. Riza, the OH11 recorded two new cases of COVID-19 here in the region, bringing the total number of COVID-19 cases in the entire region to 362. Riza? Jem, have we heard from the family of the patient? Is it um, a severe case of uh, COVID or? Riza, we still haven't heard from the family of the patient, but according to Santo Tomas LGU, the said patient is asymptomatic and in a stable condition now. Riza? Now, of course, you know, there were uh, travel history. Does authorities have any theory perhaps on where um, he have contracted the disease? As of this time, health authorities are still investigating where did she get the virus. And, but according to the LGU, what's their priority now is the contact tracing. Lisa? All right, thank you for those information. Gemma Vansenia again reporting to us live from Davao del Norte. Meanwhile, here are the headlines we're keeping our eyes on. Ormoc City also reported its first COVID case. Mayor Richard Gomez said he is not happy with the news. He says the local government has been strictly implementing health and security measures. Gomez earlier lamented the return of the OFW stranded in Manila to their LGUs without proper coordination with government officials. Now, the palace dismissed the UN report, which showed supposed violations in the president's drug war. Presidential spokesperson Harry Roque said the report was based on faulty conclusions, but added that UN's recommendations are noted. And moving over to Brazil, Rio de Janeiro's statue of Christ Redeemer was lit up in green to mark World Environment Day on Friday. Brazil is the second leading country in coronavirus infections with over 600,000 cases. Now for more updates, follow News 5, the Philippine Star, and Business World Online. I'm Riza Diaz. We are One News.